Well, as you saw, I've made a bit of a start. This is the front of an old tunnel that's been bricked up. There's a little entrance and it comes into, as you know, the mushroom farm, which is now starting to work properly. You can see they're spreading out. He is a menace. As long as he keeps hold of that dirt block, he's okay. As soon as he puts it down and takes a mushroom, all bets are off. In here, we've got the remains of a second tunnel. Um, I haven't done the bit outside at the back because the other side of this is just open air. I'm still deciding whether I extend this or not, but inside will stay like this where it's collapsed in at both ends. And this is where the chorus flower farm is going to go. Now this, we're going to have a space here for growing large mushrooms and fungus, but run, run, run. I was thinking about what do I do with this hole? Do I fill it in or do I leave it? And I've decided to leave it and I've decided to turn a bug into a feature. So we're going to go and make the chorus flower farm and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, the chorus flower farm is just ill mangoes but without the automation. Uh, four. Put one there. Get rid of that. Oh, we got a bit of lag. This could be fun. But it doesn't explain what I'm doing out there. Okay, so to understand what I'm doing out there, I've got to tell you a little bit about a place in Australia. We've got a large desert in the southern part of Australia. It's called the Nullarbor. It takes three to five days to drive across it. If you're looking on a map, it's between Adelaide in South Australia and Perth in Western Australia. Uh, take this across this way. Now, the Nullarbor looks flat and featureless. It's very arid. That's not right. It looks like not a lot grows there. Actually, not a lot does grow there. But, in the Nullarbor, there are these great big holes in the ground. They're not everywhere. Let's get some more trapdoors. I'm not going to have enough. Nah, nowhere near enough. Oh. You can't actually see the holes until you're almost on top of them because the Nullarbor is flat. But the holes open up to caves, like big air bubbles underground. And in the caves, it's at least 10 degrees cooler. There is water. In fact, some of the cave systems can only be reached by taking diving equipment with you. Uh, there's vegetation down there. Some of the caves you need oxygen equipment because the CO2 is so high. Um, how many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need another 14 at least. I'll go get some iron. I'll be back in a minute. All right, we've got more iron trapdoors. I can't even remember where I was up to. The caves. They've got vegetation. They've got water bodies in a desert that's arid. Um, I am not paying attention. That's better. You can go exploring in them. They also have the greatest number of bones of the Thylacoleo, the marsupial lion. <laughs> I love the marsupial lion. It's extinct, unfortunately. So I was thinking of doing something like that for 
our cave out there, making it into a sort of mushroom paradise. Really? Why is that not? One, two, three. One, two, three. What have I done wrong? Oh, I hate it when I do this. One, two, one, two. Oh, I think I know what I've done. That is under that instead of under that. Oh. Do I move them one closer? Oh, now if I shift them there and I shift that there, we'll have one in the middle. But I quite like this spacing. I don't want to make it closer. Oh, I am moving it closer. Okay, I'm taking all this down. <laughs> but what I am going to do is out... Oops, did I pick them all up? Yes, I did. Out here, I'm going to make this into a proper cave with stalagmites and stalactites. And if I can work out how felicitites, which the Nullarbor Caves have, they're like stalagmites and stalactites, but they're eccentric shapes. They're incredible. Look up Nullarbor Caves. And I'm going to put giant fungus in here and chorus fruit and, or chorus plants. And I'm going to make this look a bit better than it does. So as soon as I've got this sorted out, we'll do a time lapse of sorting this out. I warned him, as soon as he picked up a mushroom, that was it. doesn't happen. That's it done. Just got to put the chorus flowers in and I've made a little AFK spot here which will be for growing the flowers, any chorus fruit and of course the mushrooms. We've got a furnace so that I can make cooked chorus fruit if I have to. I've got storage where all my nether fungus is going to go. And the chorus flowers and any chorus fruit will go in there. So let's pop these down. They go directly under the lights. And this little framework stops it from growing too high. And I might put... Why don't they join up? Oh, okay. I was going to put extra lights along, but that looks weird. Hmm. They're not needed. Oh well. If I find they stick out the sides and go up, I'll just add extra iron trapdoors. That's the chorus flower farm. Woohoo! Caving next. That's a big job.
I ended up having to add extra trapdoors in the chorus flower room. We probably knew that would happen, but this is finished. I've put shroom lights on top of the mushrooms and the fungus and I'm not sure I like it. I think it's too much light. I might take them off and put carpet up there. But in the meantime, the rest of it's lit so that nothing will spawn or in areas where it's darker, I've got slabs and stairs and things like that little dark recess. I want more of those, but I think that's going to take a bit more playing and mucking around and I am well and truly caved out at this point. But I don't think it looks too bad. Oh, I didn't even think of those. Mm, I'll have to check the light levels on those. See, it's still some work to do. But my fungal cave is done as much as it's going to be and I've got space to grow giant mushrooms and giant fungus and I quite like up there I really do it's a bit dark but oh, I can see it well enough and run 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 I'm going to put the chorus fruit farm in here but that is for another day because, as I said, I am well and truly caved out. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm tired. I've, I've really had enough. Anyway, this will be the chorus flower farm. But oh, now I've just got to work out what I'm going to do next time. I have no idea. While I'm thinking about that, there's end cards on the screen now to some more of my videos. So feel free to go and watch those dive in have fun hit the like if you've liked this video it does help subscribe if you haven't and remember to turn on notifications so you find out when my next one is and i'll see you next time bye